Log. March 30th, 2017. I talked to my counselor today for an hour and a half, which is something that doesn't really ever happen. We had a good talk. It's just that she's starting to... When I first went in there, I told her that I'm a very complex individual both emotionally and psychologically. And I think she's just now beginning to realize what that means. And I hope she appreciates the challenge. Because I am not an easy individual to get to the center of. Just when you think you've gotten there, no, there, there's more. Something else that's come over my mind lately are is uh, people who just can't accept things. And I'm not talking about like something happens and oh shit, you accept it and move on. I'm talking about controversial things. Like Take abortion, for example. I don't like abortion. But you don't see me out marching and throwing up signs and trying to picket Planned Parenthood places and marching on Washington to overturn Roe v. Wade. I don't like abortion, personally. I don't feel it's right. But I accept. I accept the fact that there is, that our Supreme Court at one time decided that abortion was a constitutional right. You know, it was covered by the Constitution. It brought up a constitutional question. That's the only reason why any case gets heard before the Supreme Court, is if it brings up a question of constitutionality. And Roe v. Wade made that. It gave the Supreme Court a question on constitutionality regarding rights. I'm not particularly a fan of guns. But I accept the fact that there are people that do. I accept that guns exist. You don't see me throwing a hissy fit over my neighbor across the fucking road who goes out and shoots his guns for tar at target practice on his own fucking property every couple of days. Pop, 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 pop. You don't see me going, Oh my God, he's got a fucking gun. I accept the fact that weapons are a constitutional right. The Second Amendment. I don't have to like them. I just have to accept that they're a right. They're allowed. Whoop de fucking do! The election. I didn't like either Trump or Clinton. But one of them got elected. You don't see me out trying to burn my fucking town down. You don't see me trying to go up and vandalize the university in the next town over. You don't see me crying about it. Because the election is a constitutionally given process. Every four years, a new president goes for election. 
or the same one if he hasn't already served two terms. I just accept it. I accept it and I keep an eye and I see what he does. I may not agree with all of his policies, but there may be some that I do. I'm not going to discuss that right now. You know, And a lot of people can give the counter-argument. Well, things get out of control if you just accept it. No, they don't. Not necessarily. Things get out of control when you try to control them. So why continue trying... You know, why continue a process that has proven to be ineffective? It's the literal definition of insanity. If you don't like something, try to change it another way. This this violence and this violence and trying to control all in the name of protest is bullshit. It's bull as George Carlin once said, it's bullshit and it's bad for you. So why do you keep doing it? Why do people keep trying to do it this way? Because it worked during the Civil War and the American Revolution? You know, peaceful protest was the way that things got changed during the Civil Rights Movements. It wasn't the violent protest. The violent protests got sensationalized, but they weren't really what was the driving force behind the change. People don't seem to understand that. Not today, not in today's world. Everybody wants what they want, and they want it now. And they'll do it through every means necessary. Spoiled fucking children. You see university, I see universities today. Hindering free speech. Hindering opposition of views. Hindering the right to challenge the, 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 the system of academia. All in the name of what? Political correctness? Not wanting to offend somebody? What about the person that you're you're holding back? You're telling them they can't say what they want to say. Challenge their professors to pursue knowledge. What about the person that you're, you're trying to, to stifle? Well, anyway, guys, I'm on my way to work, or at least I will be, here in the next minute. Um, so, I'll see you guys, see you guys later. As always, take care. Lano out.